adventures are exciting. Exciting! The world is full of wonder. With grace. While the survivors wander the dungeons, the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. Wonder. So exciting. <laughs> the goddess nevi i i'd almost lost all hope everything's fine beth i'm here i'm here this here is a new friend she rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface without her we'd never have made it out let me introduce you to my wife arabeth tirabade head of the eagle watch mm. until the army arrives i'm the temporary warden of canabras and you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And thank you for getting Anevia out of there. The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. 
Don't talk like that. Canabras hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Iomade abandons us, we will fight for Knobras. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. Most people in Canabras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Come on, living legend? A walking folktale, maybe? I just need to make sure I don't turn into a running joke. The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders. But it's now been taken over by cultists. When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. That's the spirit! You, take Anavia to the rear! The rest of you with me! Oh, that stupid locust. Lord Horgus Worm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. That's right. Fighting spirit is the one thing that we've got plenty of. <sighs> Actual fighting power? That's not so great. Fighting know-how? Even worse. But fighting spirit? <laughs> At least we're rich in that. For Iomade! For the Queen! Kill the beast! With grace? They choose to stand against me? Your time is over. No time for idling. Friendship lasts forever!
What's this? Do we have guests? <laughs> Just in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you... Oh! <gasps> what an unexpected surprise! Staunton, my little sweetheart. Long time no see. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me? Admit it. You missed me terribly. Uh, Minago. Minago? The one who... Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. That's not very nice. Staunton, my pet, haven't you told your new friends about me? That wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason why Teresin fell. Oh my, like butter wouldn't melt. What I remember is how eagerly you would run to our trysts. How you begged to see me again. How you promised you'd do anything I asked. By your own free will you said this. And now you claim that Dresden fell because of me. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat! Now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. Staunton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? I'll kill you! Do not fear! Do not waver! No time for idling. So exciting! Together, we stand. of the spirits. I'm all ears. Meditate on your mistakes. It might make you feel better. A simple smile goes a long way. With grace. Congratulations. You made it all the way here. This is it. Your precious ward stone. Sounds terrifying. Except that's how we've been living for generations. There isn't a soul that can resist the temptations of the Abyss. Even a stone can be turned. I'm not joking. Your precious ward stone, weakened from the injury inflicted by Discari, has almost succumbed to my charms. Soon the whole barrier around the world wound, the gift of your useless goddess, will be a weapon of the Abyss. Just a little more, and boom! So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. Kiss me on my dainty hoof, pledge your loyalty to Baphomet, and when the world falls, its ruin shall be yours. Save the last one for me. Away! 
away, you rascal. This pain Your time is over. Excruciating. This you offend me. Lose. I'll just sit So this is how it feels. Stand down. This is not away, my time. Away, you rascal. <laughs> this hurts so much. I'm tired of playing around now. You want to know what will happen when I'm done with the Wardstone? Here's a little demonstration. Ayomade is with us! Yes, yes. Keep telling yourself that. We are the light. The world they are the darkness. Praise Iomade, you woke up. Healing your wounds was easy, but you were unconscious for so long, I was starting to worry we'd lost you. We're safe. Nothing can touch us here in the Defender's heart. At least for now. We couldn't stand up to the Demoness. Her spells were too strong. <sighs> it's all right. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out, but Staunton and I managed to get you here to the Defender's heart. It used to be a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing to strike back. Wait. What you did in the Grey Garrison convinced me. You're one of the best warriors left in the city. We need someone with your wits and fighting strength. I know I can't command you, but I'm asking you. Help us fight for Canopris. First of all, we need to decide what to do with the stone once we get at it. What I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A blind elf calling himself the Storyteller. He insisted he be allowed to examine the ward stone, and he raised the alarm when his study was finished. Prelate Hulrun dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the Prelate's opinion isn't worth much. I think the storyteller knew what he was talking about. There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault. But I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the garrison. Trouble is, I have no idea where to look for it. While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open. In case you find something we can use. And one last thing. The Eagle Watch has lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were killed, but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabris, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. <clears throat> One of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori. A new recruit in the Watch. She got along well with Sila, and she often went drinking with her. May the Goddess help you. Yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. Well, it was our house. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You can take whatever you find. You have more need of it. Adventures are exciting. Is there trouble?
hey, Chief. Ooh, hey, gorgeous. Come over here. I want to talk to you about something. Something really important. Quit bothering the decent people in here, Wolgif, or I'll knock your teeth out. What's it to you, Delvin dum-dum? You were told to guard me, and I'm not stopping you. But no one told me I had to shut my trap. Does it really matter? Don't get hung up on the past, Chief. Don't look to the future. Live in the here and now. He was caught thieving. Wolgif. Wolgif Jefto. I deal in useful things. I can get you whatever you want. Anything. But there's just one problem. <laughs> I'll lay it out for you. Simple job, 30 minutes tops. We go someplace, talk to someone, and in return, whatever you want, I'll get it for you. Some extra rations, no problem. Armor, weapons, scrolls, you name it. It's as good as yours. If you need my help with something, whistle and I'll be there. <laughs> what a load of guff. If you were good at magic, you wouldn't be stuck in here now, would you? Don't you listen to him, Chief. He'd find fault with the Queen herself. I'll be useful to have in battle, and I'll sell whatever you want at a reasonable price. That's easy. You know Irabeth? Feisty looking gal, always wears armor. You can't miss her. She's the meanest fighter in the whole city. When you see her, put in a good word for me, will ya? Tell her there's this guy, Wolgif, locked up for no good reason in the Defender's heart. Well, for the follies of his youth. And he really wants to get out on bail so he can keep up his good behavior and make a contribution to society. You got that? Will you do it? <laughs> I knew I could count on you! Knew it the moment I laid eyes on you. A simple smile goes a long way. Well, Chief, what do you got for me? 
<laughs> you must be a smooth talker. Come on, Delvin. Get these bracelets of yours off me. I'm going free. You're sure to regret this. This tiefling will fleece you for everything you've got. Mark my words. You're a bitter little man, Delvin. Petty and mean. And now, Chief, straight down to business. Now, she won't be asking me questions like, Wolgif, how'd you manage to get out of this one? Or, Wolgif, you're so thin, didn't they feed you? No time for idling. The world is full of wonder. Adventures are exciting! Yet another obstacle. Adventures are exciting. So exciting.
field goes a long way. Friendship lasts forever. Can we retreat already? Away, you rascal! The world is full of wonder. Your time is over. You offend me. Adventures are exciting. No time for idling. So exciting! Yet another obstacle. Stand down. Friendship lasts forever. With grace? Time to shine. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, quickens. Lan. The world is full of wonder. I found oh, something. Adventures are exciting. How cute. You can handle them, right? Away, you rascal! <laughs> a simple smile goes a long way. With grace? Time is over. <laughs> you offend me. No time for idling.
This is my time to shine. Let me draw the first blood. Friendship lasts forever. Wonder. How cute. Adventures are exciting. goes a long way. Is there trouble? So exciting! With grace? Over there, uh huh. Ah! <laughs> no time for idling. This is my time to shine. Can't hide from me. How cute! So exciting!
with grace? Come at me, I dare you. Friendship lasts forever. Uh-huh. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. This is my time to shine. Adventures are exciting! How cute! Pretty good, aren't I? Hey, have a look! So exciting! goes a long way. They choose to stand against me? The mongrel did it. This is my time to shine. Might be trap, might be treasure.
with grace? We'll make this quick. She won't feel a thing. I don't know. Can we really do- Listen, we don't have a choice. There are demons everywhere. What else would you have us do? In Iomade's name, we're sorry, girl. But it is our duty. We have to do this. Not for our own sake, but for the sake of everyone who can still be saved from the demons. If we don't win this battle, you won't have long to live anyway. They're insane! We've got to do something! I understand. You're scared. You feel powerless. You think this will help. You don't have to justify yourselves to me. Just do what you've decided to do. We... We... Our weapons barely scratch the demon's hides. We're sacrificing this girl to Iomade, so we can consecrate our weapons with her innocent blood and gain the power to destroy the spawn of the Abyss! It's extreme, but we have no other choice. We have to defend this city somehow, or else we'll all perish, including her! How do you know what the Goddess wants or doesn't want? Who are you, her herald? I am Iomade's paladin. If I lie, may the goddess strike me down. What you intend to do is a repugnant crime and heinous blasphemy. Exactly. What were you thinking? The goddess would never allow this. Whose idea was this anyway? I think it was yours. My idea? I was against the whole thing right from the start. Please don't fight. All of you are good people, defenders of the city. You just made a mistake. Please don't hurt them. The little girl is defending the people who wanted to slaughter her a minute ago. She's either a saint or she's insane. Maybe the two together. Hey, I know her. I see her all the time on the street. She's a couple of cards short of a full deck, if you know what I mean. Hi. Remember when we used to play together when we were little? But then you went and got all big. And I stayed the same for some reason. Huh? I played with you? <laughs> Pull the other one. You did. We played tag and hide and seek. Then you and the bigger boys came up with the game where you all threw stones at me. You laughed so hard. It made me happy too. But then you grew up and went away to do grown-up things. Wanna play with me now? For the love of... Canabras is too damn small. Thank you. They're gone. And they all lived. I was sure that someone would die today. So many people have died here already. But we are still alive for some reason. Strange, isn't it? But you shouldn't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a silly girl, really. No, don't be silly. I'm very ordinary. Well, I know different types of tricks. But Soot taught me those. Now Soot here? She truly is unusual. She's clever, and she can talk, but only to me. She teaches me magic tricks and lots of other stuff. I don't know what I'd do without her. I must have misheard. This girl? Join our party? What could we possibly want with this dirty little beggar? Sure. Let's go!
This is my time to shine. Exciting! With grace? Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. An audience? Problematic, but not critical. You there, girl. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin. A devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will, and so on and so forth. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who? Oh, them! Just an audience, they don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all-powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. That is correct. But still, girl, no prompting, please. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the Great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Yep. And a cow. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Hey, take it easy! We've only had two questions. 
You there. Come on. Ask another one. We'll get the next one. Is there any sense in continuing? Please, ask again. I can answer. I'm sure I can. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? B... A... F... A... Oh, screw it. Hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks! The experiment is complete. Do not fear! Do not Away, waver. you rascal! The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, girl? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Red and gold are the colors of Baphomet. I suppose I should terminate the experiment due to the subject's utterly woeful performance. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer, a pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great encyclopedia Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions to the World Wound? Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. Excellent. You're hired. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. No time for idling. A simple smile goes a long way. With grace. No time for idling. Adventures are exciting. Is there 
trouble. A simple smile goes a long way. Friendship lasts forever. The world is full of wonder.
trivial task. The road calls me. We shall overcome! Hold on. Just a little- I will see this through. I do not find this to be useful. Our path leads on. I won't take that. Let us bide our time. I'm... an expected outcome. This will hurt. All according to plan. Someone else would make better use of this. What a find. I'm... wounded. This will hurt. No mistakes. Enemy approaching! An expected outcome. What a find. No time for idling. A sweet smile, a gentle voice, and kind words will help me win their hearts. And if that fails, I'll use my sharp nails instead. Enemy approaching! Away, you rascal! Is there trouble? So exciting! Adventures are exciting! Is there- 
more trouble. So exciting! <laughs> Away, you rascal! One more Sorry, time, I have to over. do this. You offend Just me. Never. No time for idling. Valiant stranger who has just burst into my life. I am the master of this house. Count Dayron Kale, Myriad Mellifluous Monikers Arunde. No need to introduce yourself. I find remembering insignificant details, such as the name of passing acquaintances, such a bore. Now that we've finished with the niceties, tell me this. How did all those thrice-damned demons end up at my soiree? Canabras in ruins. Descari. Well, well, well. And I was already lamenting the lack of excitement at my little banquet. Although it must have been tolerable enough if we didn't get notice of a great hulking demon attacking a dragon just outside the window. It seems as though Descari's occasion was altogether more of a crush than mine. If you will pardon the pun. As a child, I had my very own pony. I'm sorry that happened to you. Such a sad story. I had not even the slightest intention of upsetting such a lovely child. I'm not lovely. Some people have even called me a scarecrow before. That's patently absurd. Why, you can't possibly be a scarecrow with a crow following you around. I'm sorry if I failed to sate your curiosity. I loathe talking about myself to people I don't know, even more to those I do know. The only thing worth knowing, aside from the fact that I am highborn and filthy rich, is that I dislike Puritans and demons in equal measure. Well, perhaps demons a tad more. I thank you for the invitation. But I am not quite as desperate as I may seem. Either way, my mansion is now safe. I have a pair of half-decent guards. As regards myself, I feel like stretching my legs. I know rudimentary divine spells, I am no friend to demons, and I elevate any society that I deign to grace with my presence. I shall accompany you. Only for a short time, of course. I have no desire to remain at the vanguard for a protracted period. Capital. Good acquaintances that begin and end at just the right moment often leave the most pleasant memories. Wouldn't you say? The world is full of wonder. Friendship lasts forever. trouble with grace
No time for idling. Adventures are exciting. Uh huh. A simple smile goes a long way. The world is full of wonder.